I think we need to uh, go higher. Okay, so hi, welcome to another episode. I go as Heather and Hops. I will probably try and get Instagram things sorted that correlates, but for now I can be found on Ravelry and Instagram as Catweaver. I'm uh, quite a new knitter, and this is just where I'm just going to grab my tea. Can't let that go cold. Uh -oh, pint. This is one of my favourite mugs. It's unfortunately a commercially made one, but I do really, really like it. It's my Kath Gidston one I've had for years. And I'm drinking uh, a breakfast blend by my partner, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm a new knitter. I am yet to really find a community locally that I can be a part of, mainly due to work timings. I could travel into London and be part of that, but it's quite difficult for me to travel at the times that they're hosted. So. There's that. So if you want to get involved and share with me, talk with me, I'm very content to find out what you're knitting on and share what I'm what I'm doing. So yeah, I have been doing some knitting. I accidentally finished my soiree sweater, which I really am very, very happy with. This hold it up close. Hopefully it will start to find focus. I knitted it in, it's the basket, basket tree, um, I knitted it up in Coop Knits, blimey, Coop Knits Sock, yeah, you can look at that halo, and Spectrum Fibre uh, Mohair in the Blue Smoke colourway, and there was a bit of an ordeal with the yarn, nothing to do with me, but, or uh, Spectrum, she's amazing. She really was very useful, actually. Very nice lady. Um, so when I ordered the yarn, for some reason Etsy sent it to my old address, which I haven't lived at for probably four years. So my partner, bless him, travelled into London, handed a note, and actually we got a message straight away saying that it was there and that we could go and collect it the next day, which is amazing. Um, so I'm really, really pleased that I got to knit this up. I didn't swatch, which is probably foolish, and I have probably learnt a lesson. I'm still very, very pleased with it, but there's no positive ease, really. Well, not much positive ease on the arms at all. Um, so I will hopefully knit another one. And it actually knitted up a lot quicker than I anticipated. I thought this might be sort of a two or three month project, but apparently not. So... That is Soiree by Emily Foden, and I can't recommend the pattern enough. I've never done cables before, and that I did believe was going to be a real challenge, but actually it's very simple, a little bit of reading, and ta-da, I did it. So I'm very, very pleased with that. And in the same vein, I also am wearing another finished object, which is my Skyhill hat, which is this. Ooh, it's difficult to show you really with wearing it. Um, I've been wearing it all day. It's the Sky Hill hat by Emily Foden. Again, this is in Knits About Winter, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous book. Um, I haven't blocked it, I've just worn it because it's actually suddenly got quite a lot chillier where we are. Um, so it might look a bit nicer once it's blocked. And I did a slight fade, um, it's not the neatest, yeah, so I used West Yorkshire Spinners in the Jacob Fleece, held double, so for the first bit here, I was using the med no, the light grey with the medium grey, and then I did a few rows of holding the medium grey twice, and then a few more of the holding the light in, so it sort of fades, not, not too subtly, not too... Obviously, I don't know that most people from afar would notice that it's even slightly different colours. But I really love this. I knitted the short version because I am a bit of a... 
I don't know what I am, like a fisherman. I like a I like a big cosy close knitted hat that sits so I don't have to play with my hair or anything, it's just done. Um highly recommend this pattern. And I think I will probably knit another one of these. Maybe slight may, maybe I'll do the longer version. But just for a quick reminder of how gorgeous it is. Let's find a picture of Emily's version. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Um, so that's I think that's a picture of the long version. And there are actually matching mittens, which I would love to knit. But I need to get a bit more Jacob Fleece, which I think my local yarn stop shop now holds. So that's exciting. And then... And that's two of Emily's versions of the soiree that I'm wearing too. Absolutely stunning. I think I would like to have a sort of cotton linen -y skirt like this to wear. But amazing. I, I can't recommend this book enough if you are wanting some really, really beautiful winter knits. Every single picture in here is stunning and the patterns are beautiful too. So there's that. Um, I don't have all that much to share this week. Um, I did record a Make 9 video, but then I deleted it by accident. So I will, hopefully I'll do that next week or later on in this week. Um, so, because it has te the temperature has dropped, I decided to cast on a pair of mittens for myself finally. And then I realised that I probably didn't have enough yarn. So I cast on for some fingerless mittens that I made up as I went along. I haven't blocked them and I used the remnants from my Hexworthy sweater, which is a Katie Bean green pattern for blacker yarns, which was knitted in this, which is Tor, uh, which was their 13th birthday yarn, which it feels amazing and I'm really looking forward to blocking these out a bit so they feel a bit, a bit more like my jumper does. But there they are, very, very simple fingerless gloves. I did a bit of a pattern to change the colour. Um, some 2x2 two two ribbing alternated to change and did an afterthought thumb. So they are really, really simple. Um, I didn't follow a pattern, I just cast on and hoped. They may be a little bit wider here, but they work they're actually really really warm um, I was wearing them to drive today and I've got to say they do the trick very happy not the neatest but they work and they apparently it's a blue grey kind of week so yeah that's how far we got on that and then oh I'll show you this too so there is a lovely maker on Etsy called Tea and Quilt and I decided I needed a notions pouch. I found it and it had little robins on it and it had to come home. It's beautiful and it holds just the right amount of stuff. I'm a bit of a sucker for carrying things around but it's got a beautiful inside. That's my scrap yarn um, and it, hold, it does hold quite a bit including my crochet hook so highly recommend it sits up nicely and I can actually just give it a little squeeze and see everything that's in there absolute revelation but I got that and then I also I've, I've really used it a lot it's had something in since I got it I also got this little project bag in gorgeous wintry print and it's holding my socks so I cast them on. I haven't, I haven't done too. Oh, I have. I've done quite a bit on them, but I, I haven't really worked on them the past week because I'll show you what I've been working on mostly. So they're my just vanilla socks. So this is my own hand dyed one. Oh, let's see if we can get that to focus in a bit better. Yeah. So I dyed this one to match the Tea of Life book, uh, which is a blue face Lester and bamboo blend, and this is. Stranded Dye Works Merino Cashmere Nylon in 
first frost, I believe. Um, absolutely love these. I've already got a pair of socks in this and this. So I'm just kind of using it up scraps. I say scraps. There's a good amount of yarn here. Um, as a project that I can do while I'm I'm talking to people or on sort of public transport. Um, so yeah, vanilla socks, they're coming on. I think, I believe, this is where my afterthought, no. That's how long the gap is in my foot, so I'm just working out how much longer I want to make them. But I think I'm just going to use every single gram that I've got as there would be just enough to do contrast to toes, heels and cuffs on another pair of socks, but I think I'd rather just use it up and have a, a cosier pair of socks because these kept me particularly warm this winter while I was working outdoors. So yeah, they're both living in my beautiful project bag by T and Quilt. Highly recommend. Stands up sturdy on its own and everything's just interfaced and beautiful. Yeah, flying along today, really flying. So, for Christmas, I think I've shared this, maybe I haven't actually. No, I haven't. Um, so for Christmas I got this from my auntie, and it is Strange Brew by Tin Can Knits. And if you are interested at all in colour work or garment making, this is the book for you. It really is a colour work adventure. So it takes you step by step through quite a few beautiful jumpers. I think there's about eight jumpers in here. Um, and all the different processes and techniques you'd need. So from steaking to how to colour work. It talks a lot about gauge. And each thing comes in different weights and different sizes. So it's completely... You, you could mix and match and it's even got a little stitch pattern library at the back. You can't see, you can't see it. Um, so, it was my partner's birthday and I am running behind but I was waiting on some yarn. But I decided to cast on a jumper for him. We were also were waiting because he was going to design the chart that he wanted but he couldn't, he couldn't get his head around it so I think he, he'll end up having another one basically. But... For now, I'm knitting him this one, which is called Marshland, and I cast this on, so it's Monday, I cast it on Thursday night for him. Um, so I'm knitting this in Alaposlopi, the ice text in the, so it's the chunkiest weight they do. Um, oh, I don't have the black with me, black heather. Here we are, this is what I've got so far. Oh, where are you come from? There you go. So I've done the yoke and the colour work mostly on this sleeve. So I have this much orange left and I've got this little bit of orange colour work to do on both sleeves. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough or whether I'm just going to call it a day there and maybe add some orange around the cuff of the sleeve at the bottom just to bring it all together. But I'm really really excited to see this and how it's coming along. You can have a little look at my floats if you want. Um, I think it's alright. I'm almost doing a bit of a, a block as you go so I'm giving it a little stretch as I'm knitting with it. Try not to overstretch it either. But I'm very, very happy. I appear to be getting gauge, which is nice. <laughs> um, it will be super warm. It's a bit, it's amazing how different working on something like this is compared to this. Um, it is a lot stickier on the needles. But it's nice. It, there's a comforting factor to it that I do like. 
and it is warm. Like I've, it, like I said, it's been getting chillier again in the evenings, and sitting having this on my knees has been really, really quite cozy. I think. So I haven't. Just so you, just so you know, the I haven't. It's blowing it out quite a lot, but that's quite accurate. Um, I haven't finished with the neck, so you work the neck last. It will be uh, ribbed a bit, which is good because I think this is going to be quite wide on him, and I think he's a bit like me, so he'll want it a little bit higher up as opposed to low down. But I'm really pleased that he loves the colours. He's gone for, I believe, sheep swirl. The sheep swirl, <laughs> sheep sorrel, uh, dark olive black heather and highland green and this is burnt orange so yeah husband sweater or husband to be because we're getting married in september which is exciting we booked our reception venue last week that was thursday night actually so i guess I cast this on just after and because i don't have project bags yet this is currently living in a little crate. So that is all my projects for the week. It's quite a short, sweet episode, I guess. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's what's happening. I'm. I'll give you a little bit of waffle. So the waffle section. I have actually been having a lot of waffles. Maybe I'll put some pictures. The blueberry ones were very good, but the breakfast savoury ones were delicious. And actually we had... Yes, I will put in pictures. I'm really sorry to share this. But I also had potato waffles, which I've never made at home. But I was gifted a waffle maker this Christmas from uh, my partner's parents. And I guess it's a shared gift, which are the best kind of gifts, to be honest. Um... I made potato waffles, so I had mashed potato the night before, and I thought, do extra. Brilliant. But everyone should have potato waffles for breakfast. <laughs> Maybe not all the time, but it was a real treat. And I've been doing a bit of work on my car, which is actually really exciting to me too. So I will talk about this properly at length at some point, but I've worked in coffee for a long time, doing a lot of mobile coffee, but my vehicle which I use she is a 1964 Morris Minor which if you want to have a little look we are at King's Drive on Instagram I'm going to change the name and change it all over very soon but I'm hopefully going to do a few events from her this year which is exciting and has meant that I've spent most of this week or last week working on her which has been really wonderful I've I was made a roof rack for my birthday a couple of years ago that unfortunately was sat in the garage not doing anything and I've sanded it down, varnished it and that's now fitted and it looks very cool and we've also been working on the interior giving her a bit of a once over because she's due to have her final MOT which is very exciting um, so the interior is looking better, it's not finished but the roof rack is fitted and it's absolutely stunning I'm really really very grateful that I have a very very clever family and my dad made that for me yeah so that was last week and then this week I've got a few sort of bits of work to do and I teach yoga so I have a couple of classes to plan for and teach so I'm actually going to go off and do that right now so I'm gonna change and have a roll around on my mat see what feels good um, and hopefully get on with a bit of knitting this evening too. So, yeah. I hope you have a very crafty or knitty time in the next few days. And I will get another video up again in a couple of weeks time. Or next week. I think next week probably I will do my Make 9 video again. And hopefully share some progress on this. In the meantime, if you have any questions or you would just like someone to talk to, I am always here. And this is a everyone included environment, so if you want to get involved, get involved. So I will hopefully speak to you very soon and see you again.
Bye.